Hey, I hope everybody is having a great day. Uh, I'm excited to get started. So today is the first lesson in ABCs of SVGs. And I wanted to start super simple. I don't know what level everybody's at. So if you already are used to used to, familiar with Adobe Capture and you know the app well, uh, you could maybe skip this lesson or you could stick around. You know, there's always new little tips and tricks you can pick up. Um, so let's get going. So when you first open the app, you'll be brought to the screen. I'm going to click the little photo button in the bottom right, select camera roll, and I've already gone ahead and gotten some screenshots screenshots, screenshots from Google. So there is a slider bar here. And as I move it towards the left, it's going to decrease the color tolerance. And as I move to the right, it's going to increase color tolerance. And what that means is basically how much of the color is being uh, selected to be removed. So we are going to keep it. Let's see. Don't want too much or too little. If you start to increase too much, you might think it's the best because it'll be the thickest. But you have to remember, hopefully you read the blog article and you know this, that uh, right now the picture is in raster form and raster images are in made up of pixels. So around the edge, edges of this love design is actually quite bumpy and the software is trying to trace around that edge. So sometimes it's better to actually not go all the way to the right because that can cause a little bit of wonkiness of the lines later on. So I like to go as minimal as I can without losing color. So we're going to say right about here. There's also an auto clean button, this wand up top. This image really doesn't need it. There's not much speckle around the edges, but let's see. Yeah, we're going to stay right about here. And then I'm just going to hit the check. And then you're brought to the screen. So for this one, again, we don't really need to crop because there's nothing extra to crop around the edges. Um, and there's really nothing to refine. Refine offers us the ability to erase or use a little brush to fill in any gaps. I'm going to try the smooth tool. This is it with smoothing off. Let's turn it on. Hmm. And see, yeah, it makes it a little wonky in between the O and the V, the V and the E. So again, I'm gonna go with it off. Unfortunately, there is still a little roughness, as you can see right here. Um, yeah, on the E, a little roughness. And again, these are things that are so easy to fix in other softwares, but we're just gonna keep it basic today. So after that, I'm just gonna hit save. Oh wait, did I make sure it turned smoothing? Yeah, smoothing's off. Hit save, and then save again. And then this part's tricky. I couldn't figure it out at first. If you want to export as SVG, you hit this X in the bottom left, and then you select the three little dots under your shape, and then from there you can go to export as and select SVG, and then you can send it wherever you would like to. So let's try an image that's a little more difficult. So for this one, I'm going to select Happy Valentine's Day. Um, and again, we're gonna turn on the auto clean. And we are going to make sure it's solid black, but not go too far over. So we'll go right about in here. Hit the check. Um, again, there's not really anything to refine or crop. As you can see, the edges are very rough. So we're going to use smooth, smooth on. And this is much better. So let's have it zoomed in and turn it off. As you can see, all these little flaws go away as soon as you turn it on. It gets a lot smoother. So that's great. And again, we're just going to hit save, save. And we're good to go. So this next one's a bit trickier. It is the adorable baby Yoda that I'm sure you guys have all seen going around. So I have two versions. I have this one to the left, which is light. And then this one to the right, which I edited just to make the colors pop a little more. And I did test them both. And this one does edit better. And the reason why is the colors, when you're tracing an image, basically you want the colors to stand out against each other. So whether that means you want to make your whites whiter, your blacks darker, uh, make sure there's great contrast, all those things, whatever you can do to make sure your colors are really separated and don't, um, are not 
close together. So you wouldn't want a, a dark brown around your black outline, right? Because dark brown could be mistaken for black and it could be traced together. So again, we already have the auto clean on. And see, this is going to be a tricky one. So I'd say this is about the best we're going to get is right here. I'm going to hit check and then we're going to crop down as much as we can. Oops, a little too far. Crop a little more. This would be much easier on the iPad with the Apple Pencil, but I know not everybody has an iPad with an Apple Pencil, so I wanted to use my phone for this. And now we can use Refine. We can grab the eraser tool. Oh, <laughs> just hit the undo button. I was trying to zoom in. And you can start to erase anything that you don't want. Now, this could take some time, and again, would be much easier with an iPad, especially if you do have an Apple Pencil. And it's very easy to hit the wrong area with your finger. So just hit undo if that happens. And then just zoom in. And again, you would just go around it and clean up any areas that need it. So then there's also these areas that are left empty. And for that, you could select the little brush, make it smaller, zoom in. You could fill that right up. Then you could go around, erase everything. Oops, it's so easy to try to zoom and do that. Um, and fill in, and you guys get the idea. And then you would um, definitely, I'd say, let's see, would smooth be good for this one? I'm gonna think so, yeah. And then you smooth, so of course, everything would be erased and uh, filled in. I just, I'm sure you guys <laughs> can figure that part out. Um, you don't need to watch me sit here and erase it all, right? <laughs> so then you could take this and upload it to Cricut Design Space. And what I would do is take a solid shape, a circle, a square, and slice this cute little Yoda out of the shape. And then you would have all the pieces to fill in the color. And if you wanted, well, you would want to do them different colors. I would just duplicate and contour away what you don't need until you have all the colors and layers you want. At that point, you could actually just um, contour the black outline and make it solid black and then just use the new layers you made and put it on top. And I could do, you know what, I can do a quick video on that for those who might be a little confused by what I just said because sometimes it's easier to see than it is to hear, right? So then again, you just hit save. And um, again, this is a great app for solid one color images or for outlines. And you can always, like I said, create color for the outlines in design space by slicing and contouring. Um, but this is a, you want to use your phone. And again, iPad and pencil really make this app wonderful because the erase tool and brush tool are so much easier to use than on a phone. So I hope that you found this useful and maybe you picked up some new tricks. Definitely try the editing an image before you import it. Um, even if it's just a white background, making the white very bright, increasing the exposure or brightness, it really helps make the design pop and get smoother lines in the end. So I will, um, I'm going to add the design space video for contouring and tomorrow's lesson will be tracing in Inkscape and Illustrator. I am going to be covering both softwares in this course because I know not everybody wants to pay for Illustrator. There is a free trial, but some people might just want to learn Inkscape because they don't plan to continue to pay for Illustrator. So I want to make sure everybody has access to courses to learn a vector software, a free or a paid one. I do highly recommend Illustrator though. If you um, are someone who really thinks that SVG design might be for them, highly recommend you just start there Then you never have to learn a new software. So if you have any questions or if anybody has a file they're really stuck on, um, feel free to send it. Maybe we could use it in one of the courses as an example. Um, but yeah, have a great day.